All right, today's video is on an emergency pop can fishing hook. They're kind of very weak. One would say they're just aluminum. You know, you can see it bend around and move. The best bet as far as I'm concerned to use this, if you're gonna have to, is as a gorge hook, which means you let them swallow it after it's baited and then pull on it and pull them in as nothing would want to get, you know, they'll follow it in. Wouldn't have much of a choice. As I don't think it's strong enough to pierce most fish's mouths. Just my thought. Now, this stuff you can find anymore, sadly, a lot of places. This, the most frequent thing out there, which is just rather unpleasant as far as I'm concerned. This type of tab that has the closed end, if you if this is what you got, you're gonna have to cut that open to make the hook, which I'm not even gonna bother with this. And I had a question at one point of how to get these off without tearing this little ring out. As you can see, sometimes they come off, most of the time they don't. Well, the trick I figured out, and it's you know it's fairly simple, is to take a thin bladed knife and start from the back, start lifting that ring up, slip it in between the can and the ring, and the idea is not to cut yourself while you're doing this, so be careful, and just start rolling it. And you'll get it up near the edge, because if you try to come in from the front side, it will tear that little centerpiece, that it's the little rivet basically, off with it. And you can push that back out, but it's just more of a hassle if you don't have to. I think I'm starting to get it off. We may end up with a demonstration of that. There we go. Got it intact. All right. Then once you do that, you can push your, push everything back out flat and you end up making three cuts in it. One right here, straight down, one across at an angle, and then cut this center bit out, which will take this L out. You can do that with a knife and just push it straight through and baton it. I see no point in that when I don't have to. It does bad things to, granted it's only aluminum, but it still doesn't help your edge any, so we're gonna use a pair of side cutters. Cut here, then cut across, down like this. That forms your hook. Bend that out of the way. Again, it's aluminum, it bends relatively easily and cut right up through there. You take that L bit out. So when it's cut, it looks like that. The other thing I'll usually do is you wanna roll this around and up. So you just push that around. And there you have it, there's your hook. You can tie your string through this, but what I think is usually stronger is pull your string through, wrap it around the shank of your hook, and then tie it. And that's secure, that'll secure it really solid. Again, like I said, it's not the strongest thing in the world, but it will work in a pinch if you have to have it. And these things, sadly, again, are usually available most anywhere because people discard them instead of taking them with them. Smash the subscribe button such as you would your fearsome foe.